I'm um, Lila Feinstein live at the Griffith Observatory. And you know what? We all have our shades on. Everyone's ready to watch the transit of Venus as it crosses the face of the sun. I will have all the details coming up in a live report. looking barn once again an extremely rare space spectacle happening in the skies this evening it's one you'll never be able to see again the planet venus is crossing the face of the sun and this won't happen again until the year 2117 leela feinstein with us from the griffith observatory with more on the spectacular site hi leela Hi, Micah. Spectacular indeed. And there is so much excitement out here right now. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, truly. The transit of Venus won't happen again for another 105 years. And right now, everyone here with their eyes to the sky, not wanting to miss out. Special glasses, telescopes, pinhole cameras, all coming out to witness this rare astronomical event. Even the dogs outfitted with eyewear. I'm really excited about it. It's, it's like a holiday for me. Self-proclaimed astronomy nerd Jessica Gerhardt said she wouldn't miss this for the world. She says witnessing the transit of Venus helps put her problems in perspective and makes her feel like she's a part of something bigger. For me, it makes me realize that, you know, I'm so small and like the universe is way bigger than me and that's kind of cool. <laughs> this couple thinks it's so cool they traveled 4,500 miles all the way from England just to be here. A great celestial event like this, we'll never see it as good as this anywhere else. Obviously Tahiti but this is the second best and it's easier to come here. So me and Chris we flew all the way just to spend the week here and just observe it. Venus began crossing the face of the sun just after 3 p.m. Although it only appears as a small black dot on the sun, Jerry Ying said he had to bring his little girl here to see it. It's not going to happen for another 100 years. It won't happen in her lifetime. And we missed the one eight years ago, so we thought it'd be fun to come up here. We live in those filas at the bottom, so. And what do you think about it? I think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with her. It is very cool indeed. Now, if you want to check this out, you still have a little time left, but I got to warn you, parking out here is tough. Best bet is to park at the Greek Theater and then walk your way up here. And once you get here, I don't think you'll be disappointed. There is definitely a party-like atmosphere out here. Reporting live at Griffith Park, I'm Leela Feinstein, KTLA 5 News. Thank you, Leela. Still to come here tonight.